coaches, are you one of those guys who just don't feel comfortable unless there's two guys standing around your quarterback in the backfield? If you're one of those guys, today's video is just for you. We're going to talk about three air raid pass plays for any 20 personnel offense. Stay tuned. Coaches, welcome back to Air Raid Nation. This is Coach Colthart coming back to you again. And I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to talk a little 20 personnel offense within the Air Raid. Now, you don't necessarily have to be an Air Raid guy to, to incorporate these, these three pass plays we're going to talk about today in your offense. Um, you know, a lot of guys just aren't real comfortable with, with going 11 personnel or, or 10 personnel and, and selling all out. And I understand that, you know, some of us, you know, we just believe in this thing wholeheartedly. Other people just like bits and pieces. And hey, that's all right with you too. I mean, to each his own. Is, is I guess is what I'm saying. But hey, I hope, hope today's video helps you out as you build your offensive system and get prepared for uh, the season whenever that happens. And um, if these are the kind of videos you like, these, these list videos that can be used for different types of offense and stuff like that, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Click that little bell so you know when we go live. We're going about once or twice a week right now because there's just so much content on the internet. I've been watching a lot of the content myself, so I haven't made a lot of my own content, but we'll get caught up to that as as we figure out what's going on with the rest of the summer. But enough of me yibbering and yabbering and stuff like that. Let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so let's jump into today's video. Uh, obviously, you know, from the thumbnail, it's uh, three plays for any two-back offense. Uh, kind of going to talk about that, these pass plays. Uh, you know, we've done five plays for any offense and stuff like that. But I wanted to talk about passing game because, you know, everybody wants – everybody really is kind of married to their own running game. It's really hard to convince guys to get rid of – certain runs if they really like them. I mean, if you're a buck sweep guy, you're a buck sweep guy. If you're a power O guy, you're an inside zone guy, you're a duo guy, whatever it is. Um, it's really hard to get guys to say, well, you know, you need to kind of get rid of those runs and change this other run because those guys are pretty, pretty, you know, set in their ways. And, and there's a reason why a lot of those plays are just wonderful plays. I, I love power O. It's one of my favorite plays ever. Don't tell the air raid people that though. Um, but so like, we're going to talk about these three pass plays for any, any two back offense. And, um, uh, you know, we talk about 20 personnel in a, in a teaser. And so one of the things I forget sometimes is that when I jump in these videos, I realize that I'm talking to coaches from different levels. And, and I apologize if I if I don't explain stuff well enough for some of you guys in the comments. If, if I if I don't explain something, ask me a question. I usually try to get back to you, especially on Twitter and things like that. Kind of been taking a little bit of break from football the last couple of weeks um, just to kind of recharge because, you know, this, this up and down of play, no play, practice, no practice is just, it just wears on everybody. And, you know, make a decision and let us live with it, I guess is the bottom line so um just you know you know what is 20 personnel just a quick review 20 would be the number of running backs zero is the number of tight ends and then obviously you would have three wide receivers so 20 personnel is going to give you two running backs no tight ends three wide receivers a lot of the spread people are doing this now a lot with you see a lot of the sniffer guys you know different types of personnel types you know they're bringing in an extra tight end putting them in the backfield so they can move them around and different things like that so um, that's what 20 personnel is if you didn't know um, you know, what, what makes guys want to stay in 20 personnel? Well, a lot of guys just aren't comfortable in a four wide receiver offense. You know, it depends on what you grew up in. Um, you know, I, I have a very specific set. Um, I grew up in a pro style offense in high school, and then I went to a, a pro style offense in college. Um, in East Carolina, and then when I went to Appalachian State, you know, we had Nebraska G-load, you know, passing, sprint draw, inside zone, outside zone. We just did all kinds of different things. So I've been exposed to a lot of different things over the years. So, um, you know, I, I get comfortable because I just, you know, I, I try to find my guys. And every school I'm at, I usually have more wide receivers. The wide receiver group is always the biggest wide receiver group. But if you're just not comfortable in that, you know, because you don't feel like you got the dudes or you got to have or you just better because you, you think you got to have pass protection and things like that. You know, 20 personnel is definitely for you. Uh, um, a lot of guys just, you know, they're, they're willing to add that extra guy to the box to have that extra guy in the backfield. And, and that's OK, too, um, because a lot of guys just have to have that fullback type guy so they can, you know, have their kick outs and traps and wraps and things like that. So, you know. No big deal on that deal. It's just why would you choose 20 personnel? And that's why it is. Um, and, and a lot of guys who I talk to were 20 personnel guys. They're really not sold on this air raid concept of a small playbook. You know, remember I tell you, you're going to keep that playbook small, concise, um, you know, practice over and over and over and over. A lot of guys just think, you know, big playbook's fine. And, and you know, I, I disagree, but, you know, I digress. There's a lot of guys who win a lot of games who do a lot of different things. And that's OK, too, because it's always going to be kids over calls. I, I'll just explain that to you. But. Let's jump into the list real quick, and, and, I, and I'll share these three plays. After each play, I'll show you some cut-ups and diagrams, and then when we come back for the finish, um, we'll close it out and we'll get ready for the next video. So let's jump into it. 
All right, so play number one, obviously, is going to be one of my favorites. We talked about this the other day in the other video. If you haven't seen the five plays for any offense video, you'll, you need to check that out. Shallow Cross is in there. Um, you know, I made kind of a controversial statement in that video that Shallow Cross might be the ultimate air raid route. And a lot of guys were like, yo, Mesh, Coach Mesh. I know and I get it, but Shallow is just... You know, it might be it might be the the perfect pass route. So, um, you know, shallow cross for me is easy to teach. The progressions are, are, are so simple, and uh, you know, obviously you're going to read shallow dig back, shallow dig back with some outside stuff. You can add a little monarch uh, and run it to the one side on that deal. Um, you know, we talk about it being the ultimate air raid play. It's really easy to put into any offense. And the really cool thing is, is that when you're running the dig with the H or the sniffer, he, he naturally outside releases, which helps the, um, you know, which helps clear that shallow lane for you. And, and it's a great play on third and medium or third and long. And, um, you know, so let's jump over in the diagram and the film and, and we'll talk a little bit more about it here in just one second. All right. So here we are over in our uh, Just Play software and you kind of get a little bit of a diagram. You'll see um, right here we're in what we call Hero Flip and this is going to be 90 Z. We're going to run the shallow with our with our Z receiver into the H. Um, nothing, nothing really complicated about that. We'll read uh, shallow dig back over to the back. You know, obviously this back can be here. He can he can be on the same side and go that way. You know, just the the common rule for us is that we tell the back always be on the other side of the shallow. So if you know the shallow is coming to you, you go away from it. Um, we don't want you guys to be at the same place at the same time. So, you know, let's jump in. I got a couple of clips for you. Uh, once again, you know, I got a bunch of shallow cross videos on the, on the channel. So if you want to learn more about shallow cross, you can definitely check those out. So here you, you can see right here, um, Penn State's in this off is in is in what we call Halo right here. So Halo, the back sitting here and um, you can see them kind of rolled out. And this is the issue you get when you get into 20 personnel. You have to understand this, okay? You're going to get seven, eight guys in the box. Um, and, and so you're adding you're adding extra guys to the box when you do that. But, you know, once again, a lot of guys are comfortable with that. They, they, they spend a lot of time on block, blocking schemes and things like that, so it's not a big deal to them. So here, here you can see the play is going to run. And they're, they're going to kind of run the shallow with the H here. And, and you know, it's kind of tough because he's so far off because you generally – tell the shallow guy um, run at the feet of the defensive lineman right there, but he's going to get carried up the field just a little bit. And he does a really good job of getting, um, getting around those linebackers, but look what it does when, uh, when the dig comes through, you see, there's just a big window in there. And that's why out of 20 personnel, it's really a good, a good play um, for, uh, for those guys. Here you go from the backside of it. You can kind of see, it's, it just pulls everything out of the middle, freezes that guy, and the dig comes across. So, you know, like I said, it's a really, really good play, um, especially on third, medium, third, and long when, you, when you're when you doing that. Here's another one right here, and you can see in this instance, the shallow is going to come from the two-receiver side. And bang, look at the dig there. So now you're throwing to another tight end or a fullback type guy or sneak another running back in there. A lot of times we have two running backs when we're in this formation. So now he's just working to the middle of the field. Bang, he's going to catch it and, and, and make a good play off that. So like I said, shallow is so good. That's why we talk about it even being out of 20 personnel because if you look at it from the end zone shot, I mean, the, the quarterback has just a really nice window in there. And um, he just bang, he's going to set it in there. Guy gets big, big fullback type guy, you know, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and all that good stuff. And then here's, here's kind of the last one. You can kind of see it's more, it's more of the same stuff. Uh, you know, the outside release by the dig and that bang, look at that shallow coming through. And, and, and so you have more linebacker types of guys back, big, back in the box. So if you can get that shallow through there, especially if you're running it from the twins, I mean, look at that. all these linebackers are, are kind of dropping back, you know, they're playing zone and, and you got a fast speedy guy running through the zone flat you know, pick up one block and you're in pretty good shape. So shallows, like I said, is, is just such a good play here. Um, some other ways to do it, um, you could, uh, you know, fast motion him here or send him to the flat. You could run the dig with the X or, or with the Z over there. You know, you can do a lot of different things, you know, with kind of our monarch concept. If you check out a couple of our videos or courses, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. But just such an easy play. And, and, and the progression is what it is. There's not a lot of time invested in putting that play in. So I would suggest if you want to add an air raid concept to your offense, especially if you're a two-back guy, shallow has got to be one of them. 
All right, so our second pass play uh, of, of the of the video, we're going to talk about cross. And, and cross to me, if you've heard me talk about this a bazillion times, cross to me is the ultimate air raid play action play. Um, a, a lot of guys, when you tell them, if you, they, when, you, when, you, when you know how we like to play that limit your playbook game we all play, um, a lot of guys put this in because they want to play action. If you're going to be a 20 personnel team, you got to run cross. I mean, it just, you know, you run an ISO at those linebackers and you got one guy coming from another going under Sam over Mike is really, really hard to stop. Um, you can run it out of jet motion. You've seen videos on that. You can run it out of your sniffer look and we'll look at that. And then we're going to look at the special one. We got a special one from Alabama. Alabama actually runs what we call 95Z, where they put Z on the cross and, and Y runs the little um the little chase uh chase dig behind it so it's a pretty cool little play um let's jump into the diagrams in the video and we'll talk a little bit more about it all right so back over in just play you know we've talked about this one before you know this is just kind of basically blue y cross um and, and the cool thing about it is is you can take like h and jet motion him across we've talked about that before f and jet motion him and then h and f are always interchangeable in the offense understand that you're running back and your h back they in almost every pass route matter of fact all pass routes i'd be willing to say that if one goes one way the other one goes the other way so it's really easy to get several different looks out of that um, so, you know, nothing, nothing major about this. You're going to go over under Sam over Mike and, and, and read it across. Um, you know, I got that one video on the channel. If you want to check it out, um, three different ways to read, to read shallow cross. I mean, that's something that's kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to say contentious because, you know, people aren't throwing blows over it, but there's people who, who really have different versions of how they read uh, in the progression, you know, whether they go straight across the top or, or they go high option cross or, or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it. Um, let's jump over in some film. I'll show you a couple of cutups and, um, and, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about with, with the different looks. So here, here's going to be Clemson. And, and you can see Clemson is going to use a little bit of jet motion. We've looked at this one before in some other videos. But they, they just kind of, now this is not the jet motion one, so that's good. Um, you know, they're, they're just going to kind of give you a, a cross book look in the backfield. Um, you know, the back can check, they can check to uh, pass pro on this kind of thing. And, and this is just kind of straight drive back. But they just give a little inside zone fake and look at the tight end. He's just going to run deep. It, it's, it's just like, it's like stealing, man. I mean, it, it really is. It's a great pass, pass play. You know, they're switching the backs up. Hey, we're going to say, hey, we're going to get the guy you think is going to run the ball, go this way, best catcher goes the other way. Run a little inside zone. That's enough just to hold number five from getting underneath that crossing route, and bang, there it is. So it's really, really good. But this next one is is just something that um, I really wanted to share with you guys. This is this is Alabama. And and, and in this situation right here, you got to think about it. If you if you can create a three-by-one look, they've put, they've put their hero into the boundary and kind of snug down their guys. So you get this like bunch look here. I get a lot of guys ask me about some bunch stuff. 20 personnel is good for getting in bunch in the air raid. So here's your H, okay? Um, this, this is Y technically, and then this is your Z. So what they're going to do is, is Y is going to do Z's job and Z is going to do Y's job. Z is going to go under Sam over Mike. And if your Z is fast, you can get away with this. If he's not, don't try it. Um, he's just going to outside release. And they're kind of doing a bubble concept like we talk about in shallow all the time, where if you, you know the bubbles, you can get to where you want. So check check this out right here, man. This is really, really sweet. Um, and, and, you know, it looks like a completely different route. And, and notice this. They max protected this. He's going to come out late, but that H is going to stay in to help. And because they have this, like, little switch cross up top, look look at this right here. Look at that big Y cross window right there with max protection with a back getting out late. It's, it's really cool. So it's really called 95Z. It's pretty easy. Um, but you're in that 20 personnel look. You're kind of tight to the boundary. Now, think about this. You can run, uh, you know, you can run outside zone to that. You can run power to that. You can run buck sweep to that. I know I said that, right, buck sweep? I mean, but you can block down, block down. This wing can be a little bit wider. Try to pin the edge. Um, you can run pin and pull. You can do all kind of stuff out of this run look. But then you can come back and, and run this 95Z. And look, just look down the pipe of what happens and you can see this is the area right here that the quarterback is, is looking at he's just looking at that big old piece of grass he's like oh okay let me just throw it in there and then i'm gonna let athlete be athlete so that, that's really cool man and that's why i think wide cross has to be something that you're running let's jump back into the presentation and we'll look at the next video 
All right, guys. So here we are. We're back in over in our in our just play, and you can kind of see the diagram we're talking about here. You know, generally speaking, we're gonna read uh, peak swing stick, and what we've done is we've taken our H and, and created a three by one shell. You know, especially like in a running game and things like that. We're just gonna run the same route over here, and like in the video, those guys are just blocking, so it's not really a big thing because they know immediately that they're going backside. But what you'll see in in the diagram in a second, I mean, in the video in a second, you'll see how much. Um, especially to, when you put trips to the field, uh, to the boundary, how much room you have to kind of read this piece of grass right here. And it, it's so simple. If that guy widens, you throw it here. If he stays inside, you throw it to the back. So let's jump in and watch NC State do a little bit of it, and, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So um, here's NC State. Like I said, they've, they've put their twins to the boundary. Um, you know, they've got their H back, so this would be halo flip for us. Um, you can see right here they're going to move the back over, just kind of give them an easy free release, and then bang. And, and, that, and it doesn't get any easier than that. That that is that is stealing. Okay, and um, there's a great tag off of this. It's X stick wheel. Um, so you do this right here, and what you're looking for on that deal is is this guy coming, especially if they're single high, the, the the corner chasing him inside, and then you get the wheel route coming on their outside. It's a really good tag off of that. Um, but you know, don't want to make it real complicated. But you can just see, man, it, it's just it's so easy for the quarterback. Um, you know, he just moves that guy over, you know, there's, there's a five man box, probably should have ran it, but, uh, you know, there you go. 10, 10 deals, you know, 10 deal yards. We'll take it every time. And then here, here you go. See, we'll see one more video. Um, this NC state again, against South Carolina. Um, you can see here, they're kind of more in the middle of the field. The back is, uh, they're in, they're in kind of same side. They're going to shift over. There's a three by one look right there. Okay. Now you can see the overhang grass. There's really nothing in it. Okay, there's nothing in it. You know, you got this guy right here, but there's what's in the overhang grass. So let's read the overhang grass and see where it is. And that guy chases that back and he just settles down. And then he's just gonna and now all it is is stick. And in stick, this is why you do settling noose. You want to throw that shoulder right there so he can tight turn and get up the field. If you get a missed tackle, you're your green, your green grass. But if not, bang, look at there. That's five yards. We'll take that all day. Now it's first down. Now it's second and five. So really, really good play. Just a nice little compliment to to two by one, especially if you're a, you know, a pin and pull team where you want to get twins to one side and have a wing to that player, buck sweep type type stuff. Just really, 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 really like stealing. So. All right, so guys, hopefully you got a little bit out of that today's video. You know, those three those three pass plays, I think you can put in any 20 personnel offense. Like I said, man, if these are the kind of videos you like, man, really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to the channel, share the video to your friends. Leave me a comment in the in the video what you think and some things maybe you'd like to see uh, in the future on the channel. Got a couple of videos over here on the end screen for you to check out. Check out our, co our courses over on coach2.com. You can go to the website, 92meshgroup.com. And as always, spin it to win.